All right. <clears throat> Sorry, we're recording for YouTube at the same time. We're gonna knock this out. Ooh. Are you guys enjoying the game so far? I am. Objective updated. Eliminate the High Overseer Campbell. Travel with Samuel. The Distillery District. High Overseer Campbell leads the city military religious faction and is a close ally to Lord Regent. Campbell is completely corrupt and holds the secret to Emily's location. Infiltrate the office of the High Overseer, steal Campbell's journal, and eliminate him. An ally to the Loyalist Martin is being held there. Free him. And allow him to escape. Yeah, 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 I'm aware. You can play the game apparently without trying to kill anybody, but it's not going to happen. Yeah, I'm I, I'm terrible at it, right? I'm used to be god awful at stealth. Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. What the hell is a wall of light? One of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. I don't know which is worse. Just take your pick. All right, it's Samuel. Thanks for the ride. We have some mission clues. City Watch holds Clovering Boulevard beyond the first wall of light. Bottle Street Gang patrols the side streets around Clovering Boulevard. Granny Rags is an apartment at the end of Endoria Street. I actually want to see this, this granny character. Best ending is don't kill anyone. Well, we're about 30 people in on killing people, so that, that ending's not happening. <laughs> oh boy. Is that rats? Already? You guys are gonna just fuck right off. Me by all the others down to the sickness. Good, Burp. keep them coming. Got him. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. Uh, what? Yeah, the little one. Not I sent him in there. I inspected them myself. Keep working. No, no. Well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> oh, they're up above. Okay. Mm, I think I'm going to keep Blink on. One, two, three, heave! Oh, shit. Somebody coming. Whoops! She was a survivor. <laughs> oh my god. Please clear well, the area when a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business. There is no innocent casualties. Will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. What are these guys doing over here? Half the block dead from the play. Better them than us. At least some of them had money. Oh, they got money. Oh, I got one. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit, don't sound the alarm. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, he didn't set the alarm. Woo, that was close, though. Note to Sergeant Haber. Sergeant Haber, at the wall of light components have been delivered to your station, and I expect to be functional before midnight. You've also been provided with several spare whale oil tanks should the need arise. Last, it's come to my attention that various watchmen continue the analyst in practice known as rat burning. 
Remember, whale oil is not cheap. Please keep your men under control. <laughs> I just barely caught up to that guy. Cover almost fully blown. Oh, that's the wall of light. It's like a big giant Tesla wall. I see. Hold on, I gotta come back here and get my loot. While we're here. I don't know where the other ones went to. Rune or bone charm nearby. Oh, there it is. I see it. Can I not teleport to the other side of the wall? Oh, I can't. There it is. Alright, so how am I going to get up there? Maybe I can... Not quite. up this high. Now, how do I get inside the building? I'm gonna eat them because I'm in so desperate need of HP. There's a bone charm. Death in the Month of Songs. Excerpt from a longer work translated from Old Circumen by Anita Mitio Circonos. She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding from my scented leathers, a sun doubled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree, a dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans to a sailor cousin from Colero, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of song, struck by disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distinct lips. Darren and Gwen. Can use blink to skip fall damage. Interesting. Okay, just like it right over there. Be great. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, I just gotta get a little bit of healing in me. Taking a decent chunk of damage. I don't want to cross in front of the wall since I can't see. Oh, man. That's not good. Oh, he's coming to replace the oil. not. Oh, there he is. How old did you say your sister was? Bug someone else. Oh. Got him. Can I grab him? Throw him to the rats maybe fast enough? Oh, no. Throw him over the edge there. Oh my god, disgusting. That's already ate him. Check for runes. There's a bone charm nearby. And there's a rune coming up too. Bone charm's right over here in the corner. Oh, 
he's gonna come here for the oil. Come on. He's gonna come and grab the uh, oil to refill the wall of light. No? That's just ridiculous. Got him! Oh, beautiful! I love the ability to blink. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. Just chuck him down here with his friend. There was another rune to the right of the charm, was there? Oh, there was. 99 meters that way. Oh, it's probably over there with the citizens. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, 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 you can't because you're dead. Is that Granny Rags? Oh, she's gone. Send us food. Not bullets. Is that set up as a trap? To fall on? As I climb underneath of it? It was just it was set up like a, like, like a candy trap for a kid, you know? Well, I mean, I guess... It, doesn't necessarily catch kids where you put candy in a stick in a box, but um, that's all that came to mind. I mean, however you capture kids, I, you know. Yes, I would. Hey, Granny Rags. Oh. Is that you, my Jesus Christ. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Your entire face is what it used to be, I hope. Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdie. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again. God, I hope not. I'm used to not the nice ones. I hear them. And they're not very polite ones, either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Use the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Sure. Deal with Granny's gentlemen callers. I don't... Well, what kind of gentleman would be knocking at this door? Our with... community grows. Drunk dears, thank you so much for coming to Hero. Welcome. I'll let you in. Hold on. I'm gonna try to heal up a little bit before I open the door. Let's not... You know what I mean? Oh, I wonder if... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's use a couple of our tools. We do have one of these things, right? What if... He's been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you've got, Black Dog gets a. Go ahead and open on in. Would you look at this. Now come on in. Walking a bottle street looking like that. That outfit must. Maybe I'll let my girlfriend wear it. Oh, come on in, gentlemen. God damn it. Get over it. This it did not do what I wanted to do. Oh my god, I hit. I think one of them had a whiskey bottle, and I chopped right through it. I just noticed that your follow thing is neato. It is. It's very neato. <laughs> uh, yeah, resume from last save. So I tried to set off that razor trap, and that did not work out like I thought it was going to. Are they gone yet? 
Okay. Getting reloaded back in. That that did not nearly. Maybe maybe. What if I do it there? Like that? Oh my god! I don't know who that hurt more, but Take him down. You fight for shit. holy shit! That thing just is like a whirlwind of razors. I, I mean, I almost killed myself, but. <laughs> oh my god! Well, we're just gonna... Hold... Oh, he doesn't have any legs! Oh, Jesus! Well... Hey, are you in the market for oh, some... Oh, no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Well, I'll take the garbage outside, I guess. I... Sorry, Granny. Jeez! I told you the knives go on the left. This lady is batshit crazy. Kinky Granny Oh god, Krieg's Granny. <laughs> oh, I forgot to... I think I have access to this. Banner Rats, one of these. One of those. And there should be a room nearby. Did I... Can I also maybe talk to her and get a reward of some kind? Or is she just... Listen. Too crazy to acknowledge. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Okie dokie. Uh, so she says upstairs. Oh no. On the manor. Thing. Just garbage. Vanity. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Let's see. Well, oh, there's the birthday gift. Oh, it's the roof. Okay. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these bottle street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. I need another rune. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. What the fuck would you want what with that? It would be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still. Gotta teach him. See to Wait, it. Wait, you dear. want me to poison the I'll whiskey? Find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard, or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. What the hmm. fuck? Uh, uh, okay. I'll... But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Go see the doctor and poison the... That's what he's a cougar. Are sad today. All right, well... Oh, there's Dr. Galvani's office. It's that way. Out of curiosity, I opened up a door over here. Where did that... You can't because you're dead. Get out. Oh! Easy! I'm going! Oh, another rune! Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. 
I watched her consider them all, measure their worth, and find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer, the leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing me. What will you do? God. If only I had a cult that loathed me. People yes. gathered in the shadows to... Oh, one day, we'll be there. She was a real bay back in the day. Yeah, it sounds like it. Shoot. Fanny has work to do. She had the potential to be an empress one day. And made a different decision, apparently. Okay, so to the doctor's office. And poison the whiskey. Well. Man's gotta do what a man's gotta do, I guess. Still drink the whiskey for the next couple of days. Here past the wall. Oh no, no. Before I get there, but still. Mm. Here, can I creep down through the shadows like this? Oh my. Okay. Luckily, they're distracted with something else. something else or someone else. Dr. Galvani's office. Break into his flat. Search for a sample of infected rat viscera. Start a little pile. <coughs> Start a little pile here. It's a fancy way of saying find some rotten rat guts. Yeah, essentially. This is really cool. I want to look and play with all this stuff, but we have a mission. What the fuck is that thing? Check out Shadow Kill. <clears throat> uh oh. Achievement unlocked. Rogue. Gross. What the hell is going on with the ragdoll? Oh my god, his head's coming out of his ass! God. Oh, Jesus! Oh, my God! This wall is a murderer! Oh, my God! Restrict the restless hands, which quickly become the work modes of outsider. Unfettered by honest labor, they rush to sword and goin, vain pursuits and deeds of violence. Of what value are the hands that steal and kill and destroy? Instead, put your hands to the plow, the fork, the spade. For even the lowest labor that rigor squeezes the muscles as a sponge, rinsing impurities from the mind and body. Avoiding the rat plague. Much of the public still harbors false beliefs related to the plague. It is not true that the bile from the river crust will protect against contraction of the disease. 
Nor is it true that the crushed Morley orchids act as a remedy. There is speculated that both of these ingredients are used in both Salkov's elixir and Piero's remedy. Consumption of these products before exposure to the plague constitutes the only known means of resisting the disease. Further, the Abbey of Everyman warns against superstitious practices. Not only is it ineffective to burn two hogfish and a cat together, inhaling the vapors while chanting the names of the plague dead, but it's also considered heresy by the overseers and will be met with the full measure of the Abbey's laws. Tell your neighbor and practice these things yourself. Avoid contact with the infective. Consume your ration of elixir daily, preferably in the morning, and report anyone suspected of carrying the plague. Everyone must work together to stop the spread of the dreaded contagion. Full up on bolts. I probably wouldn't have bought as much stuff as I did as I know it was going to be this kind of full here. Oh, it's Slackjaw. Somebody does not like Slackjaw. Wanted for various crimes. Reward 2,000 coins for capture or death. The offenses of this man are high crimes under the strictures of the High Overseer, the municipal laws of the City Watch of Dunwall, and the edicts of our brave Lord Regent in these times of perils. Take a poop! Oh, clearly. He, he doesn't... This is all I got. Yeah! Um... Unfortunately, not an option. But I do very much like whatever these are. Alright, so we've killed that guy. Ooh, all right. Finally, a little bit of HP. I've been actually desperately needing some of those. No poops. Yeah, sad. Sad face. Customs and foods of Morley. Born and raised in Crystal, I spent my formative years in our smaller cities before settling in magnificent Dunwall. There, in the capital city, I learned to appreciate the finer things. When the opportunity arose to document my travels to Skerno, Stivia, and finally Morley, I left my position as a clerk for the late Lord Estamont. Perhaps like so many in Dunwall, I suffer from being excessively cultured, but I found morally disappointing. Over the course of the journal, I'll explain why I found the Festival of Cherners to be tiresome despite the high banners, bare feet, and red robes, and why the renowned jellied ox tongue is something I'll be struggling to forget for many years to come. EW! Jellied ox tongue! Gross! Blood sausage. Disgusting. I don't know what I just ate. But there's only a couple of things I would call a blood sausage. Empty bottles, yes. It's a rat cage. Oh, keys. Feeding log. Uh, fourth day. Sort of human rain, strong appetite. Bag TV and tears, bruised, rotted, rots uninterested. Whale meat eaten. Human torso, no trouble finding corpse parts. No feeding, aggression increased, incident of cannibalism. So the previous maidservant will withhold feeding until first day, month of darkness. So they're only eating flesh. Is that a human hand? Oh my god. Be free. Oh fuck, are they waiting for me? I didn't think this through. Uh Oh my god, they Can I Okay, I can eat all the white rats and then maybe I can Start killing the horde <laughs> so I can get off the table. I did not think this through. Okay, I thinned them down enough. Oh my god. <laughs> All that.
that for some medicinal herbs. <sighs> I'm not a clever man. Wait, are they circling back? Oh, I bet you they found the bodies in the corner. I bet you they won't be occupied for too long, though, so I should probably hurry. Oh, really? They left him alone? <laughs> He's gone through to the other side! this? Oh, just a plant. Okay. Uh, still Wait, a gauge. did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Their vital essences vital everywhere? Essences Disgusting. I mean, gut? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this... Oh, shit. I forgot I didn't have... I was gonna try to blink up there, and then I realized I'm an idiot, and... <laughs> oh, my God. I had the gun out. <laughs> Fucking no need for stealth, I guess, right? Help. I didn't touch her! She threw herself into the cabinet! Officer, you have to believe me! Oh my god. <laughs> At least he doesn't have to wash his hands! <laughs> oh my god. I'm so bad at this game, <laughs> Channel of Pandas, yeah. Men I set out with are good sailors. No doubt half of them have cut the teeth on the rascally pirate ship spawned in this community of Pidgeo. At least they should say half of them before we died, before we sign in the broken red cliffs, welcoming those who would visit for the continent as it's called. Sickness when fighting, poisoned by a school, or one would say a flock of small fish that fly over the waves like birds, landing in the hundreds across the deck, pricking any they touch with toxic quills. Two thrown overboard by gusting demon winds, the quiet Tyrian navigator, simply dead in his bunk, wrapped in his white furs, eyed wide with terror. Few has crossed the ocean in the distance of so that is greater than most would imagine. More died climbing the cliffs, and now with but a handful I stand looking across the greatest expanse of land that exists. My allies are frightened, for this is beyond them. Now their ca captain is dead too, stung by something that resembled a prairie mole, but reacted with great epileptic outrage when handled. So it falls on me to lead them. Sleep darts, hurry to have these. It's pretty much money or riot, because I'm, I'm full on everything. We got a safe. Canker Mouth Golf Map. 75 coins. 
Alright, so now we gotta figure out the combination to the safe. Be the goal of the day. Combination required. Okay, um, got one door left to clear on this floor, and then we're up to the final floor, I believe. Oh, that's the, that's the door to the boulevard. We have to go up. Tales of our endeavors proliferate. Thank you so much for the host. Welcome, everybody. Rod Viscerel. Ah, it's on this floor. I already used up my spring razors. Take a couple of those. Is the doctor in, I wonder? I've been making a lot of noise for him to not to investigate, but... Cleaning instructions. Dear Miss Benton, when cleaning my study, I ask you to constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. I always have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since we had a city for a few days, I'll lift next week's pay as well. Bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. What you doing? Hi, giraffe! This is fancy. Let's drink some bathtub water. Mmm. Empty bottles. Anything else? Six meters away. It's in the next room. Galvani's lab. We're close now. Hmm. He didn't want anybody messing with the book. Shell. Aha. Galvani's secret room. Plague rad viscera. Disgusting! Sewer capacity in the month of nets. So we're interviewed to change to the final formal report by City Works crew. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works in Claude would trash from the catch pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. It ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been in his job for nigh on 28 years and he's seen one of them come below. Except to measure it will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So the last three years been at the worst and here's why. It's the river crust. Moved into the works. We hear a man ahead and yell and scream like he's burning up and we all climb up fast. No other choice. Left all the fats running. That doctor is going to come back to one hell of a water bill. Teach you to short the maid by half. Don't forget the corpse is missing stuff. Yes. We still need. He won't stay hidden for long. Something coming? I know you're around here somewhere. Oh, somebody has found the corpses below. Rat behavior and extermination. Except from a series of interviews with street workers by Rotcatcher Lena. Used to be you go out with a 
bag, a stick, and a nail in the end, and catch as many rats as he could in the night. The city watch paid by the weight. My husband, Benjamin, and I mostly worked alone, and we got by. We found a place where the rats were real bad. Sometimes we hired crew of street rats to work with us, the younger ones who didn't make trouble. We paid them with bread and apple cider. Once the plague came, the rats were different, meaner, bigger, a little quicker. We had to watch yourself. If you got cornered, they'd turn and swarm and come back at you. Barely got away with my skin a few times down in the sewers. Bites hurt afterward, but it was the sounds they made that stayed in your dreams at night. Got more dangerous, and the city watch started paying better, but that didn't last long because after a while, too many people had been stripped clean, trying to fill up a bag. One slip, and they'd be all over you, gnawing, trying to chew you down to the bone. That's how I lost my poor Benji. Oh, the poor dog! Rat plague. For over a year, I've studied this cursed plague, collecting and dissecting rats by the thousands. Given the rapid gestation and maturation cycle, it's been possible to breed them for numerous generations. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily between members of their own species, perhaps through mites. The blood of the rats tells its own story, allowing me to gauge the number of generations that a given group of rats that live with the plague. As such, a nagging question remains. The rats are collected in the poorest parts of town, in the slums, exhibit the oldest strains of the plague. While those found near the docks, where the foreign plague-bearing rats would presumably have entered our city, exhibit a younger strain known as plague. Does this mean the rats that would be transported to the slums in some way that is not obvious? I will continue my research. If nothing else, I am living proof that Solkov Elixir and Piero's Remedy are very effective, protecting against the plague. It consumes enough of the stuff. Also, I have no fucking idea. Oh, whoops. Um, I have no idea why there's a goddamn lawnmower going outside. I live in an apartment. There's nothing but concrete out there. I don't. I don't know what he's mowing, but. <laughs> Bull rat fetus! Oh man, we're gonna throw it at somebody. Where's he at? Rat fetus. Anybody? Oh, did he come looking after that? Really? The Leviathan Sorrow. Little is known of. Picotti, credited with a series of pamphlets arguing against the whaling trade. While he has gifted his views are nonsense that threaten the economic underpinnings of the Empire. Zero one, enslavement. On the breeding and husbanding of whales versus hunting the beasts in the wild after a natural and free life cycle, Picotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. 2. Dissolution. Laments on the discretion of social bands between herd members. Picotti uses actually uses the term families. 3. Harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what it is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. It includes arguments on the gentle nature of the brutes, an ocean refuted by seamen who return to shore, wide-eyed with tales of the whale's savagery. And four, disruption. Here, Picotti, on his weakest footing, issuing a feature's warning against the displacement or transparency of natural bees from the native environments. Don't touch it, someone was reading him on dropping a fat deuce. Excellent. know where this guy is. He's looking for me, but we're gonna go hunt him down. We got what we need. Uh, oh, you know what we didn't get, though? We still don't have a combination to the safe. Mission clues updated. River crusts are vulnerable when they open the protective shells to spit out acidic slime and its prey. Fetus. Academy notice. Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week containing all the components you need, but be careful with the white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy jawed like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The, viv the vivisection should be celebrated. Revered, even. Cutting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager stout crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind the wall of books. Anyways, looking for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember, it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. 
yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore, Procedure McClurk and Provisioner, Academy of the Natural Philosophy, South Wing. P.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly isolated from the plague. Since so few of us come and go, we've got quite the stock of Tibby and Brandy. Brandy? What does the typewriter on his desk do? Oh, that's uh, audio recording. Did I not listen to that? Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna check something really quick. Um, where's our heart? Do we have a rune available anywhere nearby? I don't. I don't see one. I still haven't come across what is to believe to be the passcode or um, combination for the safe. And I also haven't found the person that's still trying to look for me. this person might be. There's the safe. Maybe I'll find a idea for the combination somewhere nearby. Usually how that works, right? Oh, dark vision lets you see through walls. That's right. He's down below. Let's go get him. And then we'll take care of whatever we need to take care of. Uh oh. Whoa, where'd all these guys come from? That's a lot more than I was expecting. Um. Well, that'll drag some attention, huh? City guards. <laughs> well, hmm. All right, time to figure out uh, this whole safe issue. We never found the doctor. So here's the safe. If that dark vision will lend us any. Any something or another. Oh, those are just rats. Okay. So we need some kind of hint or. Oh, you're right. He is out of out of town. Right. He put money aside for the maid, but only half the amount he normally pays her. You're right. So it means he's not here. So that should be the last of people alive. Um, now, in regards to a safe combination, more than likely going to be engraved on something, uh, included on a wall or a note. But I don't recall any note that we've read that... <laughs> any note that we've read that allowed... God, that described any numbers. Interesting. Maybe one of the paintings. That's what I'm thinking. 
Maybe with dark vision? Nice. I was thinking maybe because we blew out the candles. Place by it. No blowing that candle out. No turning that one off. Hmm. The only other thing I can think of. We can look and see what's outside this door. I know it takes us to the city. But maybe there's something directly outside the door that would allow us to get an idea um, take the imperial urns I don't see anything that kind of just jumps out immediately at me take maybe look in the the notes um if there was a date or anything like that there was the, the feeding log had numbers in it there were some books available uh different audiographs but What new uh, charms did we get? Killing rats gives you some adrenaline. I also have enough runes to get another ability. Uh, possession allows control of animal targets for a short duration. Bend time. Summon a swarm of rats that will attack others. Oh, that's cool. Will also consume corpses. Wind blast. Powerful wind that pushes back or knocks down enemies and shatters doors. Shadow kill. Turn to ash as they die. That's cool. Medic said I gotta get that. Wasn't there a date from his journal in the bedroom? Let me try to remember where his bedroom is. That's upstairs. Let's go take a look. Let's see, this was his laboratory. This was his secret room. Is there anything in here? No date there. Okay, and then over here at his desk was the rat behavior one. No dates. Realistic, we're looking for like a three digit number, not necessarily a date. What the hell is mowing outside? There's nothing out there! It's concrete! And oh, whatever. Uh, let them have fun, I guess. All these newspaper articles or something might be... Sorrow? The only ones I see here is like one, two, three, four, and surely it's not that. And that's really about it. This isn't necessarily his, his bedroom, though. This is his bathroom. Um, actually, I don't even know if he has a bedroom, to be honest with you.
bedrooms on the second floor. Can't remember where his bed was. This is like a couch of some kind. Something over here. Ah, here's his bedroom. A journal. Finds his soiree at the boys' estate. 28th day of the seventh month. Month of the high cold is the day I met Ashton at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? 28th day of the seventh month. 287. And there's a pocket watch. Man, look at you guys. 28th day of the seventh month, the most important date of my life. Alright, let's try it. We'll try it in this order first. Aha! Oh my god, 200 G's! What I'm talking about. Alright, let's take the door to the city. We're done. Good job, everybody. Alright. <clears throat> uh, I need blink. I'm gonna have to teleport board over here. And I need to get Yeah, to the distillery now. Did I find the rat guts? Yes, yes. I've got the rat guts. We're on our way to the distillery now. There's a rune or bone charm nearby. A rune 100 meters that way. Where's the others? There's a bone charm directly under my feet. Coming in. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Want to look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear. I'm more interested in the bone charm that you got. Uh, oh, blueprint. Lens magnification. Uh, your stability, multi-lens ray. Piero can use this upgrade to magnify lens or your mask. And Salkov's formula. Make your own health elixir. Go ahead and pick up both. Huh? Where is that bone charm, though? Oh, it's somewhere. That's actually be a good way to get us uh, a little bit of HP. It's probably upstairs. Fine bone charms found. Whirlwind one, you swing your sword slightly faster. Well, that's uh, a little more important than peepholes. Bone charms, read. Bone charms are a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back, passed from father to son. 
Old Man Salt to Greenhorn still getting his sea legs beneath him in the old times. Men cut into the tusks of ice and seals that fell in the arm long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tevia. Once whale trade began, the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor in defense against pregnancy. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Unless you're putting your dick in it. Geological survey. I think this place is pretty well done. Back down and out of here. The fishmonger. Alrighty. Uh, that's the wall of white. That's the distillery right here. Right on... Right on cue for where we need to be. How am I going to get into the distillery? Well, I'll just walk through the front door. Bottle Street Boys, you cannot kill the rap leg. There we go, a little bit of grub. We're full HP again. Alright, old Dunwall Distillery, here we go.